Hello, 2020 graduates, family, friends, and the KSU community. Welcome to the Spring 2020 Virtual Ceremony for Karamu Yawahitimu Celebracion de los Graduados. My name is Mike Daniels and I serve as the Interim Director of the Student Multicultural Center. Bienvenido a todos. The Student Multicultural Center is so excited to have you all join us this evening to celebrate all of our graduates. Although we may not be able to come together and celebrate in the MAC as we had hoped and planned on, I thought it would be proper for me to come to campus and share a little piece of your KSU home. Now, let's take a quick trip. Before we take off, I gotta put on the hat, no cap. Let's go. You already know, had to bring it home one time. That's some C, hang out with us. All right, let's take it to the lounge. Bam. Hey. Welcome back, family. We miss y'all. I already know a lot of you were here. Had to do the couch one time. All right, graduates. I'm just taking a trip down the Esplanade. You know I had to stop at the mat. Well, hold on. Hold on, I see something. What's this? Oh, shoot. Let me go ahead and collect these. For all my native students, we got one of these waiting for you. All of my African, African-American students, got one of these waiting for you. All my Latinx and Hispanic students, we got one waiting for you. Don't worry, we got y'all. Ah, woo, welcome back. Now that we have the opportunity to take that quick trip, I wanna take the next opportunity to do a quick roll call. But before we get to that, I wanna address our social media protocol so you all can engage with us during this premiere. On social media, you can follow us at SMC Kent State on Twitter and Instagram. During the video premiere, myself, CD Garcia, and Devon Gomez will be on IG Live. Uh, in addition to that, we do have our Instagram filter that you all can use. It's interactive, it's engaging. Um, we're throwing up caps, you can see that on there. Um, and just make sure you tag us in all your posts. We'll be sure to reshare that. We look forward to engaging with you all that way. So during this roll call, as we shout you out, um, shout back at us on Instagram or Twitter. Let us know you're watching. Um, in addition to that, if you're not on social media, please feel free to just holler when you hear us. All right, so getting started with academic stars. Where y'all at? Cool, cool. KT, Computer Transitiones. Hey, KT. Hey, what's up? What y'all doing? We graduated. I see y'all. What about Sister Circle? Man, y'all in the building? Cool, cool. Y'all building. Cool, that's what's up. Yeah, Oscar Richie Scholars. Yeah, Black United Students. Bus, y'all in here. Nice. Salsa. NASA. Casa. We see y'all. And we can't forget about our graduate students, Black Grand Student Association, BGSA. Cool. Well, thank y'all so much for engaging with us, connecting with us throughout the school year. Truly, the SMC wouldn't be what it is without you all. So we're so incredibly uh, thankful to have you. Next, I want to share a brief message with your family and friends. To the loved ones of the graduates, parents, guardians, grandparents, aunts, uncles, spouses, booze, bays, and to the graduates who are parents, your children. You make up the graduates' village. Here in the SMC, we believe it takes a village. A village to support, encourage, and uplift our people while they journey through life. Now we want to recognize the village and celebrate them for their role in the graduate success. Please take a moment to love up on, clap, applaud, and hug those who have helped you throughout this time. Finally, let me tell two quick stories about a couple of our graduates who are participating in Karama this year. 
The first story is about a young man who grew up near Akron, participated in Upper Bound, and attended KSU fall of 2016. He participated in KC his freshman year and then began coming to men meetings. After that, he decided he wanted to join the e-board. So he became the community service chair. And during his time as the community service chair, he helped us to partner with countless organizations, Habitat for Humanity, the Juvenile Justice Center in Cleveland, and even Upper Bound. During that time, he helped us have some of the best community service engagement that we've seen in over seven years. This young man went on to become the vice president and now serves as a president of the Male Empowerment Network, leading this initiative to great success. Additionally, he participated in the Renaissance Ball hosted by BUS, and also he's a McNair Scholar. That's within uh, University College. So, Khalil Looney, we celebrate you as you graduate this semester. Once a quiet kid from Barberton, now a Kent State alum. And we celebrate the fact that you're going on to graduate school this fall to pursue a master's in cultural foundations. It's amazing. The next story is about a young woman who came to KSU, opened the endless possibilities. She found ways to connect through uh, student organizations. She became a mentor in the KT program. Um, she also studied abroad while serving as a president of Sister Circle for two years. Bianca Gant, we celebrate you. Your positivity, the way you're able to bring people into the fold, the way you're able to uplift all those around you. Now, as Bianca completes this chapter in her life, she prepares to transition into full-time employment with a major leader in the fashion retail industry. Congratulations, Bianca, and congratulations, Khalil. We're so extremely proud of these two graduates. I share these stories of these two graduates in particular because although these times may seem bleak and uncertain, these are just two stories of your classmate, your peers who have walked in similar paths as you um, and now are going on to do great things. Hopefully these stories bring you hope to know that there are positive things going all around us. I wanna close with a reflection on the story that I heard Oprah Winfrey share earlier this week. She expressed that one of her favorite reoccurring moments is when she's getting ready to travel on an airplane and there's a storm. I know some of you are thinking, who wants to fly in a storm? Well, she talks about it being cloudy, raining, and sometimes it looks like there's no chance of anybody flying anywhere. But then the pilot will come on and he'll say, or she'll say, uh, greetings, passengers. We will plan to take off, even though it may be a little bit of turbulence. Then they take off. Oprah talks about it being bumpy, gloomy, and even um, a cloudy ride. And then finally they poke through the other side of the clouds just to discover that the sun was shining the entire time. Just on the other side of the clouds, the sun was shining the whole time. Graduates, I want you to keep this message close to your heart. No matter how dark and cloudy it may seem, no matter how bumpy your ride is now, the sun is shining on the other side of your storm and I know that you all will make it through. So thank you for joining us during this virtual celebration and congratulations. Next, we will hear from the Vice President of the Division for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Dr. Afrida Brown. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Dr. Alfreda Brown and I have the pleasure of serving as the Vice President of the Division for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion. Graduates, congratulations. You made it. You persevered through the ups and downs of your academic journey and completed a monumental milestone. You are making history. Think about this. You represent African-American, Latinx, Native American, and multicultural graduates in the class of 2020. You represent the rising stars of the generation of leaders now, how powerful is that? Yes, we are celebrating you virtually because of the unique times that we're living in, but we would be remiss to not recognize that this is your moment. This is the moment your family has been waiting for since you started your academic journey. This is the moment your mentors, your teachers, and your peers have been waiting for to celebrate you. This is the moment for your village to lift you up. You make us so proud 
So today, we all take a moment to lift you up, to cheer you on, and to applaud your ability to persevere as we know you will continue to do so. This is only the beginning of what we at Kent State University believe is a lifetime full of joy and success for you and your loved ones. As this is my last Karamu celebration as Vice President of the Division for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, I am proud to be part of your celebration. So I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to be part of your moment in history. Congratulations, class of 2020. Next, we will hear from Provost Melody. It's such a privilege to celebrate Karamu with you. You did it. And we are celebrating the absolutely incredible accomplishments of more than 240 graduating African American, Native American, Latinx, Hispanic, and multiracial undergraduate and graduate students. And celebrate we will do together, but from afar. We honor your hard work, perseverance, and commitment to your education. I know you will use those qualities to excel in your careers and contribute to your new communities, just as you have excelled and contributed to Kent State. Students, we are so grateful for you because we are all better because of your engagement and your contributions during your time at Kent State and you are equipped to continue to make the world better because of your engagement and contributions. Your education will serve you well. As Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. How will you use your education to change the world? I suggest that to change the world, you first need to get good and bothered. Get really bothered by something and then stay bothered. I shared this notion with the fall 2019 Karamu graduates, and it is, without a question, even more important in this current state of our world and community. Get really bothered by something, and then stay bothered. I have the great honor of working for the LeBron James Family Foundation. Mr. LeBron James got good and bothered when he heard that every 26 seconds, a student drops out of school. He knew he could have been one of those students, in fact, when he was in the fourth grade, he missed 83 days of school. LeBron struggled as a student and had a very rough family life. When he heard that every 26 seconds a student dropped out of school, he got good and bothered thinking about how many children in his hometown of Akron, Ohio, just a few miles down the road from Kent, had a similar story. How many would drop out of school? This bothered LeBron. It really bothered him and he stayed bothered and did something about it. He started wraparound services for the students at Akron Public Schools who were most likely to drop out, those who could not pass the third grade reading test, who were from poverty and whose family lives were chaotic and unsafe. LeBron brought programs to those students and their families, and he made a promise to them that he would work hard for them, and they promised to work hard to be successful and to graduate. Today, LeBron's first group of third graders are rising seniors and preparing for college and careers that they and their families never thought possible. He started a school that not only addresses the trauma in these children's lives, but also the needs that their families have. LeBron got good and bothered and did something amazing. Our beautiful world has many troubling injustices. What bothers you? Does it bother you that 18,000 children die a day from diseases directly related to drinking unsafe water? Does it bother you that veterans make up 10% of the homeless population in the United States? Or that women still make 79 cents to a man's dollar? Does it bother you that the United States, who has only 5% of the world's population, has 25% of the world's prisoners? and that African Americans and Hispanic Americans account for almost 60% of them? Does it bother you that 11 million children in the United States are food insecure, or that one in four children in Ohio are unsure where their next meals are coming from? Does it bother you that we are facing a global public health crisis and that will change our life as we know it? 
especially for our most vulnerable community members. What bothers you? You are our best hope for needed change in our communities, our nation, and our world. Do something about what bothers you and stay bothered because staying bothered, staying passionately bothered will keep you working towards solutions and we need your solutions. We need you. Today, I honor you, our graduates, our golden flashes. I honor the journey that each of you have gone through to get to this celebration. I honor the experiences that you and your families have lived. And I honor the successes you have achieved in order to graduate. And I honor the ways you have already made a difference. I honor the enthusiastic spirit in each of you graduating in these very unusual times. I can't wait to hear about how you use your education to change the world, because I know you will. Congratulations, graduates. Kent State is so proud of you. Hello, graduates and SNC Familia. I'm Celie Garcia, Program Coordinator of the Student Multicultural Center. What a motivating message from our VP of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion and our provost. I know that a lot of you are disappointed for not having the opportunity to celebrate this moment in person. However, making it to this day, after all of your hard work, diligence and sacrifices has to be recognized. If you're not familiar with Karamu Yawakitimu Celebración de los Graduados, this is a pre-commencement ceremony and rites of passage for our graduating African American, Native American, Latinx, Hispanic, and multiracial graduates and undergraduates. It is a symbolic cultural ceremony that evolved from Karamu Yawakitimu, which means graduating ceremony in Kiswahili. It is a way to acknowledge the accomplishments and academic achievements of these groups of students and a way to motivate them as they start a new phase in life. Queridos graduados y público, es un placer celebrar con ustedes este importante día. Caramu Yawakitimu Celebración de los Graduados es una ceremonia de pregraduación que celebra los méritos de los estudiantes de descendencia afroamericana, nativoamericana, Latinx, Hispana y Multiracial. Esta ceremonia cultural evolucionó de Caramu Yaguajitimo, que significa celebración de graduación en Kiswahí. Es una manera de reconocer los méritos académicos de este grupo de estudiantes y motivarlos ya que comienzan una nueva etapa en su vida. Así que donde quiera que se encuentren, espero que celebren este acontecimiento tan especial y nos acompañen mientras reconocemos a los graduados de este semestre. So wherever you are, I hope you find a way to celebrate this special moment. And now, join us as we recognize our Spring 2020 graduates.
Oh, I know y'all didn't think y'all was getting rid of me that easy. It's Dr. D here, your interim dean of students, wishing all of our spring 2020 Karamu Yawahiti Celebration de los Graduados graduates a congratulations. We are so proud of you, even in this virtual reality that we're in right now. I am proud of you. Congratulations. And remember, flashes forever. Go flashes.
Wow. Congratulations, everyone. You've made it. You did it. You are about to enter into a new chapter of your life. Just a short few months ago, I was graduating from Kent State University and probably had some of the same thoughts that you have. Stop for a moment. Live in the present. You've gained so much. You've gained new family, some friends, and you've made memories that will last a lifetime. From one recent graduate to the next, I encourage you to go out into the world and leave a mark. Take the risks and be innovative. You're great because you were born great. You'll be victorious because you're a victor. You are everything that you need to be today to make all the moves and changes in your life for tomorrow. Keep going and be great. Well, it seems that we're at the end of our virtual celebration, but I believe that we have a few more things to do. I think there's some people that I wanna celebrate with you. Check this out. Dear graduates, though this virtual Karamu celebration pales in comparison to being together in the MAC tonight, please know that our hearts are spirits. Our arms are virtually wrapping around each and every one of you as you celebrate this momentous occasion in momentous times. We certainly wish we were with you, but in lieu of that, we hope these videos are a small reminder of how much you've impacted Kent State University, how much we have loved being a part of your journey and can't wait to see where you go. Continue to give back, reach back, and know that the world needs you now more than ever. We've loved being a part of this, whether we know you personally, or maybe this is just a time for you to cross that virtual stage and get that next stage going forward. We have loved being a part of it and that you have been a part of this community. Stay connected, flashes forever. This is Dean Ebony Pringle, and on behalf of University College, I'm extending best wishes to each of you we wish you well and know you will continue to soar just as you did at Kent State. Congratulations. What's going on? On behalf of the College of Education, Health and Human Services, and of course, DOD, you did it. Congratulations and much love. Congratulations. Congratulations. From Education Abroad, we wish you continued success. Do your dance, do your dance, you graduated, A. Hey, congrats class of 2020. Congratulations 2020 graduates. Welcome to being an elite alum of Kent State. Love from the fashion school. Congratulations class of 2020. Class of 2020, you did it. Congratulations. Enjoy your Karamu celebration. Muchas felicidades y buena suerte graduados. Congratulations 2020 graduates. You are more than enough and I am so proud of you. Congratulations class of 2020, Kent State Golden Flashes. We're proud of you, we love you. To the ladies of DST, Ooh. There you have it. I'm proud of you, we're proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. Congratulations class of 2020. Go out there, change the world, shape the planet, and remember you can do it. You're always gonna be undeniably Kent State, and always remember, Flashes Forever. Congratulations.